Hey everybody, it's Sean from GoPart.com. We're here today working on a 2006 Toyota Corolla. So we're going to be showing you how to change out the headlight assembly. Uh, should be pretty much the same for any 03 to 08. Um, we do have to take off the front bumper cover. I know it sounds like a lot. It really is uh, fairly easy. It just takes a little bit of time. Um, whether you're replacing your headlights, uh, your whole assembly due to uh, you know, clouding, uh, if it's been chipped, uh, there's all kinds of things that can take one of those headlights right out. And if it's not working due to a bulb, uh, you can simply unscrew the sockets on the back counterclockwise, pull the bulb right out through the back. You don't have to take out the entire assembly. Um, but yeah, uh, easy procedure, uh, 10 millimeter socket ratchet with a small extension, as well as a small flat blade screwdriver will be able to take, take off the bumper cover and show you how to replace the entire assembly here. Okay, we're going to go handheld here for just a moment because I want to show you a, a couple of things that we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to have to remove the front bumper cover here, and there's usually some sort of fastener here. Our vehicle actually doesn't have it on either side, which leads me to believe this is not the first time this has been done. Uh, I don't know if it's a bolt or if it's a clip. It feels like it would be a bolt, uh, though I'm not really sure. Um, we may go ahead and put some bolts in there whenever we reattach it just to kind of get it all back together. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to be, what, whatever that is there, you're going to want to remove that. You're going to want to peel back your wheel well liner. Let's see if I can get you a good view up inside there. Where are we at? Where is it? right here you see that my fingers on it there uh, there is a my hands in the way it's kind of make it difficult to see, see turns out. all right either way 10 millimeter bolts gonna be up inside um, under there uh, as well as a couple underneath I'm not gonna raise the car although it may be a little bit difficult to to see so I'll kind of talk talk you through the steps that I'm taking you'll do that for either side as well as uh, we're gonna remove 10 millimeter bolts here um, small uh, clip here which I'll explain when we get to it and then the other 10 millimeter bolts over here that's gonna separate the top portion so we'll go ahead and get it back on the tripod and we'll get to work taking the bumper cover off now with our 10 millimeter socket ratchet we're gonna go ahead and pull back the wheel well liner. We're gonna loosen and remove that 10 millimeter bolt. It's right up inside. So with that bolt out, and then of course this one, which was never really there to begin with, you can look up under the vehicle. I'm going to try and count these out to you real quick. There's another 10 millimeter bolt just underneath the front light here. And these bolts do have a point, so you want to make sure um, that you don't leave any line around the driveway. Otherwise, you'll be checking out our tire repair video. Not that we have one, but maybe one day I'll make one. Um, let's see. I'm going to head around to the other side and do the exact same thing. I'm going to bring you over here. I know it's exciting stuff watching me. Can't see what I'm really doing, but again, missing it there. Maybe there isn't a bolt there. I don't know. It sure looks like there should be. Get that bolt all the way out. Remember, there's another one right under here. I know you can't see it from where you're at way up there, but you can definitely, you'll definitely notice it whenever you look down here. Those are 10 millimeter bolts. We'll 
go ahead and loosen 10 millimeter bolts here and here. The small flat blade screwdriver, we're going to lift the center of this little clip here up. You lift that up, and when you do, you can pull the entire clip out. You can kind of see, you pry up the center there, and what it does is it allows this to kind of squeeze close as you pull it out. You wouldn't remove that clip. I got a little bit overzealous on you. There's actually one more 10 millimeter bolt underneath each side, really close to the edge of the panel. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Either way, go ahead and we'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll take the 10 millimeter bolt off under here, 10 millimeter bolt, the bolt, excuse me, off from the exact same position on the other side, and then we can go ahead and start taking off the front bumper cover. Okay, just kind of fill you in on what we did there. Um, 10 millimeter bolt was up underneath on each side, as well as there was two more of those flathead clips that were on top of the grill on the underside as well. Went ahead and removed those. Now, with those out, we can go ahead and slide and remove our front bumper cover. Okay. I'll give you a good look at all this and just So as you can see, the bumper cover's off. Um, there are these two lights here in the back. Um, it would seem uh, one of them was already unplugged. Uh, but either way, you're going to want to unplug those. Uh, go ahead and unplug the other one real quick. Sorry for all the movement. Just handheld mode for just a second. Get you back on the tripod. Okay, so whenever you disconnect those, your bumper cover is off. Now, so we have our bumper cover off, so now what we're looking to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the headlight. What we're going to do is there's three 10 millimeter bolts that hold the headlight in place. Oops, stripped out the bumper cover. There's one here, one here, and one right under here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start loosening those. So once you've removed all three of those, you want to lift up on a little tab up top, and now begin sliding the headlight assembly from, from its position. I'm going to try and give you a better angle here of what we're dealing with on the back. Okay, now, you pull the headlight assembly out. It's very, very simple. Here's where you change the bowls. You can twist it counterclockwise. But all you're going to do is you're going to disconnect these wiring harnesses. One, two, and three. Lift the little tab, and you can disconnect them. Now, there's nothing wrong with our headlights, so we're going to reinstall it right back in. But uh, those are the three wiring harnesses. Once you disconnect those, uh, your headlight's free of the vehicle. So, let's assume you just... Ooh, man, second time I tripped over that thing. Um... Let's assume that you've now connected your new headlight. You want to slide it into position. Remember, there's this tab up top that should sit right in a little hole on, on the frame there. And now what you do is you, you're you going to go ahead and tighten up the three 10 millimeter bolts. That's what's going to keep the headlight attached to the vehicle, obviously.
So with that in place, the new headlights installed, and we'll go ahead and move to reattaching the bumper cover. Okay, now to reattach the bumper cover, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and move the bumper cover up into position and begin to secure it. We'll actually reconnect the running lights uh, once it's in place. Um, so what you want to use is you want to use uh, some of the upper connections as your guide. There are also small tabs uh, that, that you want to make sure get into place uh, on the vehicle. That's what's going to ensure that everything is uh, pieced together properly. Um, it, it may make it a little easier to have someone help you grab one side and do it with you. I'm going to go ahead and do it solo. should be able to handle it. Um, if I don't, I'll just look silly. So we lift, get the bumper cover up in, into position here. Okay. You want to go ahead and position it over those two 10 millimeter bolts that we have there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start those bolts just to uh, give me a, a way to sort of hang the bumper cover while I'm handling the rest. So we'll go ahead and start those, get those where they need to be. Okay. Don't have to get them too tight right, right, right now at the moment. Just tight enough to so that way you know that it's hanging up there properly. Then what we're going to do is it's very simple. We're basically going to take each end, position it properly, get it up onto the vehicle the way it should be, and then uh, and then we'll go ahead and tighten up the 10 millimeter bolts and reattach the small uh, flathead. Um, I'm sorry, the little uh, these little retaining clips. There's two on the underside, one up top, two 10 millimeter bolts here three 10 millimeter bolts under each side by the wheel wells. And with the bumper cover now reattached, um, we're good to go. This car had been in an accident, so there's a couple extra things I had to do. Um, but I went ahead and did that off camera. Bumper cover is back intact, um, so we're good to go.